Right, morning, morning, morning. Simply Whitby here, what a beautiful day. It's actually uh, the steampunk weekend this weekend and I'll be doing a video on that for you um, sometime and I'll get it posted up sometime or another, not too distant future. We'll spend a bit of time on the lovely steampunks. Uh, they've been coming for a few years now. The, the festival's getting a bit bigger um, year by year. They do it twice a year. Uh, I think it's, I, I don't know when the, uh, mm, the summer one is. It's back of the summer, maybe around September or something. But you'll find if you look up uh, Whitby Steampunk Weekend, you'll, uh, you'll find out everything you need to know. But today I'm going to concentrate on the piers in Whitby. There are four piers. There's Fish Pier, there's Tate Hill Pier, there's the uh, West Pier and the East Pier. So I'm going to show you some of the piers. I'm going to mostly shut up. <laughs> and walk up Pier Road and uh, you can see the amusements. For those that have been to Whitby, you'll recognise a lot of the places. And uh, yeah, so it might be a little bit longer today, the video, but I hope you enjoy it. And thanks ever so much for watching. And if you can give us a subscribe, that would be ultra smashing. Thanks a lot. Right, let's give this a little press. One, two, one, two. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Those who know Whitby, you'll recognise where I am. There's the Summer Queen. 20 minute boot reads. Doing a bit of cleaning. And then over there where the lifeboat is, I'll just walk down here a bit and give you a better view of it, is the first pier we're going to come across, and that is Fish Pier. So let's get past all these signs. It's going to be a cracking day today. Town's going to be absolutely ram jammed ram jammed so my friends that pier over there where the lifeboat is that's got the barriers up it's going under uh, it's having a bit of maintenance a bit of uh, servicing a bit of repair at the moment that is fish pier and that's where all the locals go joffing from in the summer so if you don't know what joffing is they stand on the edge of that pier and then throw themselves spinning in into the water yes <laughs> I don't know why they do it, but they do, and they seem to have a great time, so let them get on with it. Everybody, woo, you shouldn't be doing that. Oh, health and safety. Give us a break. Uh, right, so um, that's Fish Pier. Let's have another wander around. you see the boats. Look at the, the boats we've got in, uh, in today. Absolutely lovely. Here's uh, Mary J at the bottom of the coffee house steps. Lots of doggies in with me. Look at that, mate. You know, isn't that beautiful? Whitby, it really is a beautiful town. It's a beautiful town on a sunny day like this. It's a beautiful town in the midwinter when it's absolutely belting it down. To be honest, fantastic place to live. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, you can see uh, Taytill Pier just right over there, but I'm, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to walk walk around a bit and get around the other side so you can see it a little bit better but I'm just going to focus on these uh, these boats for the moment whoa that one's bobbing about a bit isn't it look at that <laughs> few more of the trawlers in there's a big one I think it's Atlas that from memory I'm not sure they'll have all been in this morning drop the catch early doors before uh, anybody else went out of bed so we're gonna come down to the uh, we're gonna come down to the pier in this is the pier in my mate Mark runs this place cask craft food and rooms that's what you get in there that's where a lot of the uh, steampunks will be hanging out today so i'll be coming down here this afternoon and then getting up to the whale bones they'll all be having the pictures taken up there oh i, I said i was gonna i'll do take hill sands i'll get get up round here and then come back and uh, and show you it you've probably all seen this on pier road haven't you quayside fish oil harry's bar candy rocks candy rock king yeah, wouldn't be the same, would it, without a rock shop? Wouldn't be a seaside town, would it? <laughs> the famous Magpie. Have you ever been in there? It's lovely. 
really nice it got burnt down twice didn't it did i tell you that before it set on fire and then fire brigade came around and put it all out then about two days later it set on fire again <laughs> so they came around and put it out again took them a long time to get it all refurbished but you know the character of the buildings remained the, the inside's all been done up and it's much the same as it was it's just newer and fresher and new curtains and new carpets and a bit of wallpaper and all of that type of stuff fun city so if you come into Whitby and you want some fun you come to fun city that's where you go for some fun there's the trawler yeah it's Atlas Samuel Richard Atlas a Whitby uh, Whitby trawler Whitby based trawler let's keep going it's gonna take us ages this oh Funland so if you want some fun you can go to Fun City or you can go to Funland yes Funland's open there's lots of fun to be had in there particularly if you've got little kiddies take them into Tupney slots fantastic my grandkids love that <laughs> yeah take a stick slot machine granddad I like to go down to the kiddie corner to crabbing corner as well I take them down there right let's have a look oh this is a fantastic view of it look at this oh it was worth the wait so mates that's Tate Hill Pier you know that refers back to the Dracula Bram Stoker novel that's where the boat was shipwrecked on and the the dog the wolf ran up to the abbey I've never I've seen loads of vampire films but and Dracula but I've never actually read the book maybe I should so how's that looking have we got a good view of it we've got the sun out the way maybe I don't know now that over there I'm gonna take you up that's the that's the east pier so we're gonna wander up onto the west pier and then we'll have a wander up there and I'll uh, I'll take I'm gonna take you right on to the end as far as we can go so uh, yeah bear with me oh look Whitby fudge bar like a bit of fudge <laughs> so where do you work I work in Whitby fudge bar all right lovely Whitby walk no thanks oh look pleasure land so you can have fun and pleasure almost at the same time next door to one another fun city fun land and pleasure land that's marvelous isn't it those up there are uh, holiday lights i don't fancy it myself but i'm sure they're very nice inside they don't look to anybody in which is a, a bit of a giveaway isn't it Whitby's accommodations almost full, ram full all year round. Here's the bandstand. So a sign that I know it's I know it's February but cottages are almost full all year round. And if they're not, then there's some some to miss. Too expensive, not so good. I don't know. Maybe they've taken them down for the season, maybe they just want a break from doing all the cleaning and skivvying around and washing bed sheets and all that palaver. Yeah, I've got holiday cottage here in Whitby. I rent out. Uh, in fact, I've got a Facebook site for it. Uh, it's called The Storerooms Whitby. It's on Facebook, The Storerooms Whitby. If you want to join us over there, look us up on Facebook. And uh, yeah, so that is the East Pier over there couple of folks brave hardy souls that's what we call it hardy souls yes hardy souls that's what I said yeah <laughs> oh dear I do like my own gags <clears throat> do you want to have a look at the beach come on I'll take you over here we'll have a look at the beach well, you see him looking at me as if I'm filming him and his ugly mug <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah there's the uh, the west beach that takes you right onto sand's end beautiful walk on there but i'm not sure the tide's coming in or out but it looks it looks maybe it's coming in to be honest with you so starting to blow a bit but i've got my dead cat on so we should be all right what a glorious day honestly my wife's not here today she's uh, she's gone to a baby shower so uh, whatever one of
one of them is whatever it is she's gone to one anyway and my two daughters they're showering they're baby showering as well getting loads of babies in my family now didn't have any for a while now we've got loads of them <laughs> loads of little critters running around <laughs> we're very lucky right so we've got these pier over there lighthouse let's get up here and then right up in front of us is the west pier i was going to say can you see that but you can't miss it really can you oh a bit bracing this morning can i have to go to greg's and get a cup of coffee or something after this marvelous eh so you probably have you ever been to it be if you you know put your comments below that would be lovely to hear from you you know your your thoughts your memories your likes your dislikes when you come when you don't come where you stay you know that'd be lovely to hear from you so uh, yeah if you've got a couple of minutes just feel free put your comments below and uh, i always try and answer to comments when uh, whenever i possibly can you know if i don't answer it's probably because i've just missed them um, I've probably, uh, I've probably demolished a bottle of red wine or something. <laughs> it's getting blowy now, isn't it? Shall I keep going? I'm going to keep going. If it, if it just gets too windy, but as I say, I've got my dead cat on. And uh, we're going to get right, I'm going to go right on this pier. It's, my wife don't like going on here because there's, it's, it's, it's like old, you know, train, what do you call train sleepers? Um, railway sleepers. For the uh, for the foot uh, footpath underfoot, you can see right through. Them. You know, if you're a bit of a scaredy cat, then uh, I won't bother. You can normally have a have a trip up the uh, up the lighthouse there, but uh, it's been closed for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just going to show you this erected sign over here. Yes, I did say erected. You're laughing at you. Oh dear. Pure Isle. <laughs> Pure Isle. Right, come on. You might not be able to see it, so I'm going to read it to you. Erected under the direction of Colonel Chomley, Lord, Lord of the Manor of Whitby, the Right Honourable Earl of Mulgrave, John Campion Coates, Richard Mawson, William Skinner, load of other names, uh, trusted of the peers and the harbour Whit uh, Whitby, it must be a committee, and is there a date? There is, but uh, I know Domini, I don't know, can you see it? Let's see if I can get a bit closer. Can you see that? You might be able to work out the Roman numerals, I can't. Anyway, enough of that. Right, have we got straightened up? We have. Oops gone a bit too far right we're going if there's a big gust of wind and you hear a, ah, a big splash <laughs> you know i'm in the drink you see these yeah this is why mrs m don't like coming up here so can you see these two little lighthouses at the end you got one green and one red one go one stop for coming into the harbour So they, uh, they'll be guiding the boats in, coming in at all hours, at pitch black or whatever it might be. I think that's what they, uh, they help them with. And uh, oh, that's some fishermen actually climb down under the pier and cast their line. They'll be trying to catch a bit of coddling, I would have thought. Man, isn't that beautiful? Look at that for a view. Oh, ho, ho. I told you it was a beautiful town. What's not to like? How long we've been going? It probably seems like a lifetime, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, anyway, I like talking to myself. It's like when Mrs. M's here, I'm always talking to myself. <laughs> right. There's a couple of boats bobbing around out there. I don't know what they're doing, but they're out there bobbing around. Happy days, eh? Morning. Morning. Got a few photographers. I'm not much into photography, really. I, I haven't played around with it. I think it's probably because I'm not that good at it. 
you know, and you see a load of people, photographers in Whitby, they come to see so, uh, Glenn Kilpatrick, have you seen Glenn, the Whitby photographer? He's on Facebook, have a look at him. He's, some of his work is absolutely superb. Nice fella, Glenn. Does a lot of canvas, uh, he sells a lot of canvases of his pictures and that. You know, it's really competitively priced, it's, uh, it's good stuff. So, right, enough for uh, advert for Glenn Kilpatrick. I'm going to call it uh, quits here, I'm going to get to see all of this. Oh, blimey O'Reilly, you see one? They've been under there and I'm not going down there. Like I've been on a suicide mission, innit? And uh, there's the other pier. So that's it mates, thanks for joining me and uh, yeah we'll see you next time, don't forget give us a like, share, subscribe, fantastic, most of all thanks for watching, I'll see you soon, you'll keep well guys, chin chin.